Hi guys. Right, so I'm going to show you how to make a relatively cheap 12 volt high power power supply for use in your lab or on your bench. Um, this is a power brick from an Xbox 360. Um, this has a rating of 12 volts at 16 and a half amps, which is uh, just on 200 watts. Now, these are cheap. You can pick these up on eBay for, I think I paid 12 pounds, including shipping for this one. Um, and for that money, it's um, it's good. It's, uh, it's a cheap way of getting a high power 12 volt supply. So in one end, we've got our mains input. And the other end, we've got the cable that used to go to the Xbox 360. So it had um, a proprietary connector on this um, for the Xbox. So I've cut that off. And what we see inside is three yellow wires, three black wires, a red and a blue. Now the yellow wires are the main 12 volt output. Black wires is the ground for that 12 volt output. And the other two, the red wire is a, um, a 5 volt supply and the blue one is a sense wire. Now the 5 volt supply isn't a high power supply, it's just used for the sense wire. So the um, Xbox will detect, uh, or sorry, the power supply will detect once when this is plugged into the Xbox because these two get um, connected together. Um, either via the, the power circuitry or the switch or whatever is in the Xbox. Um, so when we first power this up, there's no supply output from the 12 volt supply until these two wires are connected together. Now that can be either just twisted together, you could permanently connect these together. So as soon as you power up the box, you've got 12 volts um, here available for you. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to move these cables into an external box um, and um, have a switch on there so I can I can switch on and off this power supply uh, using these controls. So I'll show you this uh, working before we go any further. If I just put in the main supply and we look at the end, we've got the standby light, which is an orange light. And if I measure the voltage on these leads that there, there'll be there won't be any power on those at the moment so i'll just bring the meter in let's put that there and i'll just need to strip off a couple of these wires Okay, so if I connect the meter at the moment to the black and the yellow, we see that zero volts because this is in standby. If we connect it between zero volts and five volts, then we can see five volts. And if I join together the five volt and the sense wire like so you'll see that the power supply has now gone green so it's now switched on and if we look at the 12 volt output now we've got the 12 volts so it's as simple as that to get the output on the power supply. Now what I'd like to do, I'm going to put these wires into an external box and then have some um, connectors on there that I can plug into um, and I'm also going to put a voltmeter and a current meter on there. So let me just grab that and I'll show you what I plan to do. So this is just an old project box that I'm going to repurpose for this. Um, it's already got some 
four millimeter connectors on there. So I'm going to uh, use those. I'm going to connect up some, um, some make some connection leads, and I can just plug them into there. The Xbox power supply lead. I'm going to fix into the into the box on the other side. So this will go into the box, and then my output here. I'm going to make up some connection leads, and I can connect to whatever I want. This is just um, it's just nothing in there at the moment. As I said, it already had these um, connectors on from something else that I I had it for. So uh, this uh, it's going to be quite useful. Now the meter that I'm going to put on there is this one. This was bought from eBay, Chinese seller. Uh, I think it was about five or six pounds. And the good thing about this one is it's powered, the actual meter itself is powered separately through these wires to the wires that you would attach to actually measure the voltage that, that's going to be displayed on here. So what that means is with the, with the Xbox power supply, I can put the 12 volt supply on these terminals here and it will measure current and voltage uh, that's being drawn from the 12 volt supply. And then I can also use this 5 volt supply to power the meter. So if I just strip those cables now, I'll just show you that. So what I'll end up with is the 5 volts powering the meter. Okay, so you can see the meter on there now. And then the 12 volts I will put onto the input here. So what it means is as soon as I plug the mains into the Xbox power supply, I can then see that the thing's powered on because the meter will come on but it'll read zero and then as soon as i throw the switch which i'm going to put on that box which will link up the sense wire to the five volts this will then show the 12 volts and then as soon as i plug in a load onto these terminals i'll see the current drawn on the meter as well so that's the plan um so what i'm going to do is i'll go and cut this now bore you with uh cutting the case with the with the meter but I'll do that I'll put the cables in and then we can come back and see what it looks like here's a quick diagram that I did of what this is going to look like so here we have the mains voltage coming into our power supply and we've got the various wires that I showed you the yellow 12 volts and the black 0 volts and then we've got our red 5 volt wire in the blue sense, which is going to be switched on the box. Like I said, this could be permanently connected, in which case as soon as you plug in the power supply, we've got 12 volts and 0 volts all the time. But uh, like I said, I wanted to uh, have that little switch on there so I could switch it on and off remotely. And then here we have the power supply for our meter. So as I showed you, that's these two wires here. This comes off. And connects to the 5 volts and the 0 volts so the meters powered as soon as the power supply is on and then we've got the voltmeter and the ammeter which are going to take the main 12 volt output through these meters and out to our test leads so i'll go and cut the box and i'll come back and show you what that looks like okay so here's the completed box as you can see i've put the meter in the front and a small switch there this is what's going to switch the 5 volts to the sense wire and then inside we've got the ground coming in through the shunt resistor coming back out to the ground terminal on the box and we've got the incoming 12 volt supply which goes to the output and also a sense wire here which is just for the uh, for the meter so this is what's going to read the, the 12 volts from this line the supply voltage to the meter itself is tapped off the 5 volts and obviously the ground to the ground. The small switch there that just connects together the sense wire and the 5 volt rail. So we've got the power into this power supply. 
you can see it's on standby the meters powered up because it's getting its power here from the 5 volts which is there all the time and then if I switch this over we should see the power supply switch on and it does 11.8 volts it's near enough it's a cheap meter so I'm not expecting uh, anything too accurate so let's uh, let's put a load on this and um, see what the ammeter reads I've got a halogen lamp here which is 20 watts I think yeah 12 volts 20 watts so 20 divided by 12 1.5 1.6 amps I would expect so let's turn this off I've got some test leads that I made up four millimeter terminals So the light's on, but the meter's not reading any current. That can only be a fault with this meter. The rail is going through this current shunt. So there's nothing else to connect there. I mean, it's working. It switches the power supply on. It's registering the 12 volts. The light's working. It's just that Amis has failed. That's a shame. I'll have to get another ammeter, put it in there. But you can see from the build here, let's just put this together. Let's get that out of the picture, it's a bit bright. As you can see, it's uh, it's a nice unit, and this gives you, as I said, 200 watts at 12 amp uh, at 12 volts. So, for the price that this costs, uh, and you don't need this box, I've, I've just put this together just to uh, just so it looks a bit better, and I've got an indication of what's happening, uh, and hopefully, um, current is what I was expecting, but um, we're not seeing anything. Um, but uh, that's just the fault of the meter. That's uh, it's not the way not the way it's wired up. But um, anyway, I hope that's been useful for you. This is um, going to be useful. Um, Twelve volts, sixteen amps. That's uh, it's quite a good supply. That. So I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.